Hello my dear friends, welcome to Mint House YouTube channel. From today onwards, I am going to start anatomy lecture series. So today is the first lesson which I will talk about bones in upper extremity. First of all, let's see what are the parts of upper extremity. Upper extremity we can subdivide into four regions. This region is called shoulder girdle. This region is arm. This region is forearm and this region is hand. In here we are going to see what are the bones of the shoulder girdle. Shoulder girdle is consists of two types of bones. One type is called scapula and the other type is clavicle. In this picture you can see scapular bone. In this picture you can see in red color clavicle bones. We have to know the anatomical structure of this scapula. In this picture you can see the anterior view. In this picture you can see the posterior view. In the anterior view we can see subscapular fossa. In the posterior view we can see supraspinous fossa and the infraspinous fossa. The scapula has three different angles. In here you can see superior angle. In here you can see lateral angle. And here you can see the inferior angle. Also, the scapula has three different borders. Here you can see medial border, here is the superior border, and here is the lateral border. In the posterior view, we can see a distinct part which is called scapular spine. The tip of the scapular spine is called acromion. In the anterior view, also you can see the acromion here. Also, the scapula has coracoid process. Let's talk about the anatomical structure of the clavicle. In this picture you can see the superior surface. In this picture you can see the inferior surface of the clavicle. Clavicle has two ends. One is external end which connects with manubrium of sternum. And the other end is acromial end which connects with acromion process of the scapula. Here you can see the posterior surface and here you can see the anterior surface anterior medial surface is convex shape anterior lateral part is concave shape in the inferior surface we can see some distinct structures like trapezoid line conoid tubercle groove for subclavius muscle an impression for costoclavicular ligament. Let's talk about the bones of the arm region. Arm region has only one bone. This bone is called humerus. In this picture you can see the anterior view of the humerus. In here you can see the posterior view of the humerus. In the anterior view, in the proximal end we can start from there is the head of the humerus. After the head we can see the anatomical neck, here greater tubercle, here lesser tubercle, in between tubercles we have intertubercular groove, here we can see the surgical neck, here deltoid tuberosity, here medial supracondyle ridge, here lateral supracondyle ridge, here lateral epicondyle, here medial epicondyle, here coronoid fossa, here capitulum and here we can see trochlea. In the posterior view also we can see head of the humerus, anatomical neck, greater tubercle, surgical neck, deltoid tuberosity, radial groove, lateral supracondyle ridge, medial supracondyle ridge, medial epicondyle, lateral epicondyle, olecranon fossa and trochlea. Now we are going to talk about the bones of the forearm region. Forearm region has two bones. One is radius bone and the other one is ulna bone. First of all, let's talk about the radius bone. In this picture, you can see the anterior view of the radius bone. 
Here you can see the posterior view of the radius bone. In the anterior view, we can see head of the radius, neck of the radius, radial tuberosity, anterior border, medial border, anterior surface, styloid process, and articular surface for carpal bones. In the posterior view, you can see head of the radius, neck of the radius, radial tuberosity, medial border, posterior border, posterior surface, lateral surface, ulna notch, dorsal tubercle, and styloid process. Let's talk about the ulna bone. Here you can see the anterior surface. Here you can see the posterior surface. In the anterior surface, you can see olecranon process, trochlea notch, coronoid process, proximal radio ulna joint, distal radio ulna joint, head of the ulna, and styloid process of the ulna. In the posterior surface, you can see olecranon process, head of the ulna, and styloid process of ulna. In between radius and ulna bone, here you can see the radius bone, here you can see the ulna bone. In between that, there is the interosseous membrane of the forearm. So finally, let's talk about the bones of the hand region. Bones of the hand region we can subdivide into three groups. One is carpal bones, second one is metacarpal bones, and the last one is phalanges bones. There are eight carpal bones here you can see. One is scapoid, lunate, triquetrum, and after triquetrum there is a small bone is called pisiform. Here trapezium, trapezoid, capitate, and hamate. There are five metacarpal bones and here you can see the phalanges bones. Phalanges bones we can subdivide into three parts. One is distal part, middle part and the proximal part. Only in the thumb has two phalanges bones and the all other fingers has three phalanges bones. Before end of the today's lecture, let's talk a brief summary about what we learned today. You remember, upper extremity is consist of four regions. One is shoulder girdle, arm region, forearm region, and hand region. Also, we talked separately about bones which are consist in those regions. Finally, again, let's see here clavicle. Here you can see the scapular bone. Here you can see the humerus bone. Here you can see the radius bone and the ulna bone. Here you can see the carpal bones. Here you can see metacarpal bones. And the finally, you can see phalanges bones. Thank you for your attention. If you learned something from this video, please be kind enough to like this video and hit the subscribe button. See you all in another video. Have a nice day.